Hey there, folks. So, we are streaming today. Make sure we get the game out. I'm sorry about that. Today, I have here Sorcerers Get All the Girls, Spellcasting 101. And uh, before I put the game on, actually, I want to show you guys what's inside the box because it's actually important. So, this is a text adventure with graphics that was made by Legend Entertainment. It's their first game. Legend is a company that sort of came out of the ashes of Infocom, if you've heard of that company. And um, Steve Moretzky was the guy who made this game for Legend. He's, he was a renowned adventure developer for Infocom, and they brought him over as a contract employee, I think, to Legend, and he made the spellcasting series. Now, if you open this thing up, these old games used to come with cool stuff, and actually you need some of this stuff to play the game. So um, it come with these three and a half inch discs. And then there's like a, a manual, which is supposed to be like, Welcome to Sorcerer University, Class of 41 Orientation Guide. And mine is actually signed by uh, Mr. Moretzky, which is pretty cool. And uh, this is basically just the manual, but it tells you like how to play the game and how to control it and whatnot. Then you have a couple other things which are important, too. There's this form, which is your registration form for Sorcerer University, and it has a bunch of information about you uh, that, you know, it's written in sort of very light inks to make it hard to photocopy. This is basically the copy protection. Uh, at some point in the game, they'll ask you for this information. If you don't have it, you, you basically lose and they call you a pirate. I tried that before. And then I have this really nice uh, parchment type map. It's very sturdy material. It feels like parchment, actually. I don't know what it's actually made of. But it's a map that unfolds, and it's a map of the whole uh, sort of region. And you actually need to refer to this during the game, because you'll end up at some point traveling away from Sorcerer University and going to some other places. So um, that's what comes with the game. I'm going to have to refer to this stuff. But uh, this game is basically like Harry Potter, if it was... Uh, if it was really funny and not serious at all and um, very risque as well. <laughs> so it's like kids, like college, more like college students and high school students going to a university for magic, but it's all supposed to be like jokes and stuff like that. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. And hey, Matt, how's it going? Matt says, Legend made some good games. I'll never forget, forgive them for what they did to the Star Control series. They took over development for Toys for Bob for Star Control 3 and absolutely butchered it. Yeah, well, that was like sort of their last gasp effort as well. Harry Potter meets Animal House, basically. Without further ado, let's get this thing started. I'm sorry for my uh, hastily constructed bad logo at the top here. This is my new good logo but uh, on the bottom left, but uh, I didn't have a, a, a long logo made yet, so I just stuck something in there to fit because uh, the shape of this uh, DOS box window. So here we go. Uh, why is it not showing up? Hold on. That's oh, okay. Let me, let me, let me do that again. Oh, I think because it's just, uh, it's interesting. I hope it's not going to get confused. Like it's, this is the DOS box and this and it changes when it becomes uh spell casting. But for now, I'll just leave it like this. Mount C, C temp, C, C, D, S 101. S 101. I meant to switch the window after it loads. No, I don't. Okay, here we go. You guys hear that? By the way, the box art is much better than the picture in, this, in the stupid game itself. That one on the left looks terrible. Look at the box art compared to this terrible EGA picture. Can you see that? Like, it's like night and day, in my opinion. I don't know if you're able to see it, but, I, but uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> And then even the credits here. Audio's good. Okay, good. Thank you, Matt. I'm going to skip the credits. Let's go to the game. So it has graphics and it has sound. It also has mouse support. You can actually click, point and click through the whole game if you want. You don't have to actually type anything. So just an intro here. Um, you're, you're locked in an attic, a beating by your drunken stepfather, Joey Rottenwood. But clutch in your hand an application, your ticket to freedom. The drab walls fade to images of lab magic, jousting matches, fraternity parties. Approaching footsteps and creaking hinges jerk you back to reality. You shove the application in the desk drawer, stealing yourself for a being of a lifetime, then melt with relief as your mother entered. enters. 
Erdy, high on that. Your father's in a foul mood. Treating the welts on your back with some of Rottenwood's good mood. You don't want to deal with them in a foul mood. Oh, it's, it's skipping. I didn't, I didn't even press anything. I guess it, uh... <laughs> I guess I didn't read it fast enough. Anyway, basically, the bottom line is... You, uh... Your stepfather doesn't want you to go to, uh... You'll see this in a second. He doesn't want you to go to a sorcerer university. He wants you to become, like, some kind of manual labor or something like that instead. But your dream is to go to sorcerer university. That's, it's unusual that it skips stuff like this. Usually in the game, it waits for you to type or to do something. So you start off in your bedchamber. You're not actually in Sorcerer yet. You have to first escape from your house. And apparently there's, no, there's a number of ways to do it. Um, there's actually several different ways. You know, So there's this is like a sort of replayable game because you can figure out different ways to do things. But essentially, you can... You can point and click, so if, if you if you can read the description here, your bedchamber, your drafty attic, there's a desk here that's important, there's a win two windows, a smelly room to the north, a heavy closed door in the western wall, and there's a fireplace, and there's a pile of rotting hay, the only thing you have that passes for a bed. So if I want to, I can type in things like examine hay, and it says the hay is disgusting and real with thousands of tiny bugs, just like this game. Oh, I, I don't want to forget to do this. So the game starts out in nice mode, which means that there's, it's totally toned down for like little kids. There's no nothing risque at all. There's no, you know, nothing of any kind. You have to actually type in naughty <laughs> to put into naughty mode. <laughs> You're now in naughty mode. Couldn't wait. So now it's gonna be like more like R R rated, I would say. Um, so you know, if you if you if you're watching this stream and that's not for you, if you're like a little kid or something like that, it's time for you to get out of here and not 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 watch the rest. Of this. <laughs> well, I probably just invited you to stay longer, but. Really, uh, don't. All right. So I can type examine hay, or I can use the mouse and just click on the hay. Uh, and then it freezes up the game. What happened? Wow, that did that. Okay, here we go. All right, so if, if, you, if you click on it, it says look on the pile of hay, and it's the same thing. So you get the same thing. So I can just click on everything here if I want to. There's a sturdy wooden door barred from the outside. I can click on the desk. Look at the old writing desk. So I'm, I'm going to wait until the footsteps come because I can't really do anything. I, I, I played the very beginning of the game, so Z is to wait. So the bedchamber door bursts open. In swung is your stepfather, Joey Rottenwood. A lifetime of barroom brawls. And he jerks open the writing desk, grabs the application. He hurls it to the floor saying, You're not going to become a whip of a wizard, you little creep. In fact, if just this day bought you in servitude to an old pal in the Dragon Tending Guild. He'll be collecting your miserable little hide in three hours. You'll spend the next seven years becoming a man, picking parasites out of dragon scales, carting away dragon dung, rebuilding charred cages, and he'll build character, and he'll build muscles. Lord knows... There's a little bit of an audio clip there, <laughs> if I'm laughing. <laughs> Look, did you hear that? <laughs> Lord knows you can use some. He whirls and slams the door behind him. So basically, the door is locked now. Obviously, there's a rat here, too. So I have to figure out a way to get out of here if I want to leave. And again, I could just type everything, or I could, you know... So if I want to pick him up, let's say I could say, take the rat. One second. One of these days, my allergies will stop acting up during streams. So you can you can literally point and click on anything, just like you can play it like Maniac Mansion or Monkey Island if you want to, or you can do it like a text adventure and type what you want to type. So it's completely up to you, essentially. I'm sort of used to typing, so I'm going to type. So get hay. I'm going to examine the desk again. So it says it has a solitary drawer. Open drawer. Discover a love note. Get note. Read note. The note is in your, is your own writing to your secret admirer. Dearest Lola, I am a secret admirer. For years I have worshipped you from afar. I am not worthy of your attention yet, but shortly after I, after I leave for Sorcerer you, and when I have become a green powerful wizard, I will turn to claim you. Please wait for me my little treasure chest. And your name is Ernie Eaglebeak. Everybody in this game, this whole like uh, universe, has weird last names for some reason. Uh, so, I'm sure that note is not going to really do you much good if you actually send it. So, wait, so the, the, where's the uh, app application? It's on the floor now. Get application. Read application. So, this is my application to Sorcerer U. Why do you want to be a sorcerer? I've always been interested in magic. Now, it can be used to improve the world. Also, sorcerers get all the girls. What special qualifications do you have? So, it checks the box. I have an evil stepfather. 
<laughs> yeah, so it's trying try to be funny. All right, so let's. This is the way I, I, I got out the, the window before when I played for a few minutes. Look out window, which should be left or right, left. So it looks out to an alley. You can see a horse drawn cart about twenty feet down the alley to the left. You can see into the window of Lola Tiger Millie's bedchamber. Many are the hours you've spent gazing longly at that silhouetted figure. So you're perv, basically. Look out right window. So now it says the horse drawn cart is about thirty feet to the left, and you can see into the window of your neighbor's master bedchamber. So I'm gonna open right window. Open left window. Throw hay out right window. And by the way, this is trial and error. I mean, you, there's, there's multiple ways to do this. So if you screw it up, I guess you could you could like redo it. Let me save the game first. Stew. All right. Throw hay. Out, throw hay out right window. The moment the hay falls to the alley, the horse sniffs and slowly trundles under the pile of hay, pulling the cart along. The horse stops below the window and makes short shrift of the hay. And your score has gone up by three. So now I could try to jump out the right window. But it says, if you don't care about your own life, we cruel to kill that poor horse. So I'm actually supposed to jump out the left window because that goes to behind the horse. The horse was on the left of me. So if I would have thrown the hay out the left window, he, I wouldn't have been able to do anything now because the horse would have been, like, the horse would have been under the left window and the, and the cart would have been too far to the left to do anything. So jump out left window. You actually get a graceful swine dive into the cart full of mud, which unfortunately turns out to be a cart full of manure. And then you strip off your manure cloaked cloak and hurl it as far away as possible, leaving you naked and still fairly well covered with manure. So now I'm in the alley, so I got a new location. It's an hour east west alley. Your home forward is the northern wall of the alley, a tiger belly cottage in the southern wall. The eastern end is a closed gate to the street. The western end is a small tool shed where the gardener keeps excuse me, his tools and work clothes. So apparently that's where I want to go to get some clothes. I see some cow manure. I could probably get manure, but I don't know. I don't know why I need to get manure. Get manure. Can't take the cow manure. All right, let's go west. The shed door isn't open. Open door. The door is locked. The bad news: you don't have the key. The good news: you know where it is. It's under the flat rock on the ground next to the door. Move rock. As you move the rock, a rusty key is revealed. But outside the gate, a gilly singing voice approaches the alley. It's Lola. You freeze with terror. Any moment the gate will open. Suddenly, oh, puff and feathers, I'm caught. Stupid dress, stupid old gate. The gate shakes as Lola tries to free your garment. Great, you're about to ship to seven years of servitude, and your love is about to see you scratched and naked and covered with filth. What more could possibly go wrong? Uh, so, get key. You try, but you can't budge it, probably because the foot has just appeared on it, which is connected to Miss Minnie Bean Counter, the elderly spinster is your school bar when you're a tyke. Is that you, Ernest Eaglebeak? Where are my spectacles? But of course it's you, Ernest. You always did love digging in the mud. Your papa told me you'd got an apprenticeship, but I just had to see you before you left. Now where are those spectacles? I want a good long last look at you. So she's standing on the key that I need. It's pinned under her shoe. The far side of the gate you hear your stepfather's voice. Hello there, Lola. Have a little problem? Oh, hi, Mr. Rodwood. My dress is caught at the gate. Maybe you can help me. You have such big muscles. So apparently you're... Your, your crush likes your, your evil stepfather. That's what it seems like. <laughs> Be quite ashamed for a pretty young thing to like you to waste your time stuck in a gate. Let's see what we can do. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Rodwood. You're so kind. Hope you'll let you show my appreciation. Invite you over tea now and then. Burning with anger, you decide that someday Rodwood will be tortured to death by hell hamsters. That'll be right nice, Lola. It just so happens I'll be having some extra free time. We're sending little Ernie Eaglebeak away for a while, a clinic that specializes in bedwetting cases. You decide that death by hell hamster torture is way too kind. All right, so I need to get out of here. So push bean counter. All right, so I, I knocked her over. But she seems confused, so who cares? Get the key. Unlock door with key. Open door. What was the direction of the door? Enter shed. All right, so I got eight points for that. Uh, the only exit is a door to the east, so get overalls. Wear overalls. Okay. Uh, get tools. I don't know if I need the tools. Do you really want to attend Sorcerer you, or are you perhaps more interested in Garner you? No, so I guess I don't need the tools. Let's leave. I'm going to type verbose because that gives you um, full descriptions every time you enter a location. This way I'll, I'll know what the exits are. So I need to go, I guess, 
east. The closed gate leads to the street. Open gate. You dash through the alley gate and crash to your stepfather and Lola were holding hands. Ew. Farley between your overalls, filth, and stench of cow manure, they mistake you for the gardener. Watch where you're going, you fool. Rottenwood bellows after you. I'll see you tending to the prison garden. After a few days of hitchhiking, a subject about which this author has already written is Phil. That's a joke, because Steve Moretzky wrote the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy game for Infocom. You arrive at Sorcerer U just in time for registration day. All right, so we're actually going to get to the game proper now. Chapter 2, Sorcerer University. And some quotes here. A senior explained, I promised her parents to get her home before 10, but she had 15 and then passed out. Ha ha ha. Dean asked the student whether he's in the top half of his class. Oh no, sir, replied the student. I'm one of those who make the top half possible. Ha ha ha. Alright. So I'm in Donkey Dung Hall. That's, again, all these things have stupid names for some reason. The exit is a wide road to the south. There's one plaque on the wall. So I got another 10 points. Let me save the game. Stu two. <laughs> okay, read plaque. All right, so nothing basically here. So wait in line. So this is a line to register for for my classes, I guess. So I have the I have, this is where I need the registration form that came with the game. And actually, it has a schedule of your classes. If you can see it on the bottom here, a schedule of what classes you're supposed to attend and. I think you can, you can skip the classes, but you're supposed to, you know, if you're a good student, you should go, I guess. There's uh, also Sorcerer Aptitude Scores, Oral 590 and Adel 670. I'm not sure what that means. All right, so wait, wait. All right, you're the front of the line. Your record, say the registrar says your record's missing a few pieces of vital information. I'd ask you a few questions. What's your ID number? This is from the form, 9179. What was your oral score? 590. The registration for uh, to mention is teaching ethics 101. It says Professor Hopping Turtle. All right, so now registered. Here's my spell book, carried all times. Please move along. The days at Sorcerer you fly past. Lying the author to jump ahead to the more interesting parts of the story. We rejoin Ernie Eagleby because he crosses the campus between classes several weeks into the term. At Bat Guado Court. All right, so I'm in the quad, the quad, the heart of Sorcerer U campus. The east is Melting Wolf Hall, the original building. There's brick buildings north and south. A stadium loose to the west. Well, there's a lot of stuff here. A stone plaque. So this little the Chevy. Compensation of the school newspaper piled here. All right, so let me get it. Let me say. Let me, I should say. Let me get the newspaper. And by the way, it's 12.20 p.m. on Tuesday. I think that clock actually moves by itself. It's at 12.15 a second ago. So if you look at my schedule, I, I'm actually supposed to be in class at, at 1 o'clock. Mythology 101. So let's see. Read newspaper. This, old, this is a student newspaper. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, read news. Frat stays with controversial band. The Tapa Kenga Brew Fraternity. I like that name. So that's the band. It's lyrics to find offensive to you to play. The song's lyrics are raunchy, pro violence against women. But frat brothers don't care. They want to use that band anyway. All right, who cares? Read sports. Hellhound wrestlers play second in Danderville Open. I don't think this stuff is important. What else was there? Read newspaper. Read. Uh, I'm gonna go to my class first. Gotta be late otherwise. It said it said Melting Wolf Hall was to the east. Yeah, it said Melting Wolf Hall. Oh gosh, how much do I know where the hell I'm going? Uh, the main lecture hall for freshman class is okay, so I should probably sit in a chair. A tiny trap door hidden to most eyes, but visible to the endlessly questing eyes of a veteran adventure game player like you is set to the floor. All right, so I can click on the trap door if I want to, but I, I, I didn't open the trap door. Read arts. Am I in the right place? Something about the Blue Demons concert. All right, the bell rings, signifying the start of the early afternoon class. Lecture all quickly, fills the students. So, I mean, like, theoretically, like, I don't know if I have to sit in class or not, but I'm going to do it because I'm such a good student in real life. <laughs> So I'm not going to read the whole thing, though. 
What if you could like open the trap door in the middle of the class or something? I'm gonna try it. Just the hell of it. Open trap door. There are too many people in the way. So there's a whole long thing here. Take notes. Begin taking notes. Should I should take notes all the time. I got a pack of cigarettes, a notebook, a spell book. Read spell book. I only have one spell. Bip. Produce soft music. So how do I do it? Can I cast Bip? <laughs> Professor looks sternly in your direction. I don't want to hear this type of shenanigans in my class. I like when they have a little music in the background. Alright, so this is like some dumb thing. The professor continues to babble on. Ask question. Professor, hello. Talk to Professor. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, come on. Here, are you taking notes? I'm not listening to this crap. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not important. I should just leave. Oh my god. This is like almost as boring as a real class. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It gets better than this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, this class is ending over at 3 o'clock. I have another class at, at, from 4 to 6. Oh, I didn't read the, finish reading the paper, did I? I also have the... Okay. Your first paper is due on Monday. I didn't read the editorials. Fratch a dub ban. Tap a keg of brew should respond to stress members of the Sorcerer U community. Tell the controversial band they've hired to take their lewd lyrics elsewhere. The band's most famous song, The Sorcerer's Rap, a verse which would make the most hard bitten sailor or dock worker blush. Such crudity has no place in a light environment like the SU campus. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so the class is over. I stopped taking notes. Okay, I should have taken notes from the beginning. All right, so now what? Uh, let's see if I can open the trap door now. It weighs a ton. It's too heavy to lift. That's so with a good hit. So I probably need a spell that gives me like uh, super strength or something. Or where else can I go from here? I go east. I read this plaque. Oh, also, there's a compass rose here that tells you which direction you can go. And if you want, you could just uh, you could just click on something. But that's actually really helpful. And I click on up or down or out. So this way, I, can, I don't have to keep looking at the directions, you know, in the description. I can just click on whatever's in the compass rows. Simulation lab. I don't know what this is. Professor's office. Oh, Professor Ticking Clock's office. So this is my, uh, this is my, my, my advisor, Professor Otto Ticking Clock. Uh, and I think if I remember correctly, like you, you like ch you like sleep with his wife like throughout the whole three of these games. <laughs> um, in the third game, like you go on spring break and the wife actually is like in a hotel room, like and people are taking numbers to go in there. Uh, this one, I think it's it's a little bit more low key than that. Uh, okay, so south and southwest. Don't forget we're having dinner with me tomorrow night. We expect you up at you know, the suite at around seven thirty. And we'll uh, uh, what were you saying? All right, so I got to meet this guy for dinner. Tomorrow night at 7.30, but I don't know where the suite is. Talk to you, Professor. Blah, blah, blah. Zab and Professor. I don't think anything else you can do with him right now. All right, let's go southwest. Or is that back where I started here? Can I go southwest again? Oh, that goes to Frog Kisser House. This is like a dorm, I guess. Uh, they're playing balls and muggers. <laughs> we enter the Croissant Emporium. So they're playing, they're playing Dungeons and Dragons, basically. And they're, gonna, they're probably, if you sit here all day long, there'll be just like a long description of Dungeons and Dragons called Balls and Muggers, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's see if I, what happens if I go up over here. Library. Okay. Uh, a book of, so okay, there's a ladder, there's a ladder-like stair that goes up to the stacks. A small sign is mounted at the foot of the stair. A book on the shelf do always catch your eye. All right, so let's get the book. Take the popular book. I'm going to go down. I'm going to miss my class. Let's see. Read book. Popular. Read a few pages. Very absorbent. Vincent is still seeing Felicia. This sounds like a... <laughs> not a very good book. 
All right, it's now my second class. Ethics 101, take notes. All right, so let's see if there's anything interesting here. You could tell us the 16 is a life cycle of a good restaurant. Okay. Stage one, the restaurant opens. Stage two, the food's great. The price is low and never crowded. Stage three, the restaurant is very crowded. It works, spreads. Who can finish up? Stage four, the restaurant raises prices and cuts portion of the cash out of their success. Stage five, people stop going. Stage six, the restaurant closes. Okay. So far, nothing very risque in this game or, or too funny, but we're just getting started here. Every good restaurant follows these six stages. Uh, what's now? Stage seven, case number seven, the cheated enchanter. He learned of a third level enchanter equipped with Lifwa, the spell of pickpocketing. He's visiting an unfamiliar village and has purchased a meal of lamb stew and potatoes. Only discovered the lamb meat is tree bark and the potatoes are small brown stones. Enchanter knows the constable, the judge of the... <laughs> sounds like a college ethics class. The Enchanter knows the constable, the judge of the village are crooked and the pay of the cheating merchant. Should the Enchanter ignore the swindle? Should she report to the constable? Or should use the lift wad spell to reclaim his silver? I would use the spell, probably. Use the lift wad spell. Can I raise my hand? Raise hand. A parser nymph is suddenly fluttering the air in front of your face. Oh, you can't do that. Okay. Remember number, rule, number three of the cardinal rules of sorcery ethics. A sorcerer must never use magic to pay the property of others, even if he perceives the property to be rightfully his. Uh, I can't. I can't really interact, can I? Talk to professors. Probably say blah blah blah. Yeah. Case number two: the masquerading mage. He made a sorcerer on a mission for the king. He is traveling incognito. His mission is to obtain a newly developed spice to make celery dip for an upcoming banquet. Sorcerer is a dying girl who has the power to save, but only by revealing his identity. He doesn't believe revealing his identity will prevent him from completing the mission. Should he save the girl? Who cares? The guy should definitely save the girl. No, no, no. A mission for the king takes absolute priority of everything else. Even if it be a life and death matter. Who are you to judge the true importance of the king's celery dip in the scheme of things? How about case number eight? A pair of sorcerers vying for the head of the same maiden. What the what a fourth level sorcerer lives at his rival, a third level sorcerer using magic spells to influence the emotions of the maiden. Sorcerer has several options. How can she proceed? With stronger spells. And say, no, you can't do that. Absolutely wrong. No, no, no. Inform the young lady of the actions of the rival. This is almost over. Yeah, six over at six o'clock. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. That's enough for today. All right, good. Read all this crap. All right, we're done. All right, so now we can invest. We can sort of sort of search the rest of the area here. Uh, I didn't go up to the stacks yet. Let me do that. Oh, the stacks are restricted to upperclassmen. Okay, I can't do that. I guess. So I have a popular book, and I got points for taking it, but I don't know why I need it. Let me save the game. Let's do four. All right, so what am I, I... I keep doing that to look at the exits, and I keep forgetting that it's actually, like, I just do this. Let's check out Frog Kisser House now. My, oh, my room lies off to the east. I guess I, I live in Frog Kisser House. A stair sends the house master suite. Also, I can go to the north and southwest. <laughs> right, let me go east. It's either your room or the town dump. <laughs> Since you don't have keys to the town dump, it must be your room. That sounds about right for my room in college. You crawl it somewhere beneath the disaster or something bed-like. A sophomore from several stores down, Larry Sack of Bones, sticks his head in the door. Ernie, do you have any clear-up skin spells? No. Do you mean my luck? Hottest day of my life tonight, I got a zit the size of Mount Gnugberry. All right, so what is there in this room? Is there anything here? Search room. Is that Harry Anderson? <laughs> the guy. It looked. It, it looked. It looked like somebody famous actually, but I couldn't place it. When I go back to the room, I'll, I'll. I'll check and see what it looks like. Look at the empty can. Look at the old pizza. I like how you can click on stuff in the picture. Look at the dirty laundry. You discover that by wearing underpants five times, wearing socks six, eight times, you go almost three weeks without having to do laundry. That's very nice. Is there anything else I can do here? Uh. Move. Oh, examine bed. <laughs> Change the sheets. One of these ones. Lie in bed. 
You crushed several homework assignments. Yesterday's lunch, tomorrow's lunch. Ew. Clean bed. <laughs> you can't. You can't make a dent to this place. Apparently. All right. So I'm assuming there's nothing you can do here. Look under bed. No. All right. I'm just gonna leave. He, you know, he just look. Like, you know, what he looks like to me. He looks like um. He looks very familiar, but not, I mean, the hat looks like Harry Anderson, but the the face. I wish I could place it. It looks very, very familiar, but I just. I want to say like, Animal House, but I don't. I don't think it's the guy from Animal House. He looks so familiar, but I just don't know like, what it is. All right, uh, let's go. Let's go southwest. Boat dock. Well, this is one of the pictures in the back of the box. Uh, the boat dock is termite fodder. Curry passing back to the campus, north and east. The northwest is the president's house. An old skull is lying on the dock. And an old skull is lying on the dock. I guess, is this like lobsters on a skull with a sea? Examine skull. Get skull. No. You wouldn't want to this, ruin this beautiful graphic, would you? <laughs> oh, okay. I can take, a, take the skull. Uh, drop paper. Get skull. Drop form. Get skull. What the hell is a skull, anyway? Anybody know what a skull is? Is this a skull? That's a crab. What's a skull? What is a skull? <laughs> uh, do I, I mean, what's with the cigarettes? I don't want to loot. I don't want to throw out the cigarettes. What's with that notebook? What is all this? Huh, that's very cool. It has all the notes that I took in the whole book here, in the whole thing for my two classes. Except <laughs> bag and back make bag and bag make whoopee. Larry to Aunt Matilda, buy shampoo. This is actually sort of funny. Well, if these are my if these are my notes, there's no there's no chance I'll ever be able to uh, like pass this test. No, it said there's a skull also, an old skull and an old skull. What the hell is that? Right, I'm gonna have to look it up. What is what is a skull? It's a oh, it's a pair of oars. Huh, okay. Learn something new every day. A skull is an oar. But do I need it? Probably not yet. I'll come back here later. Open door. Door appears to be locked. Alright, let me go north. Sorcerer Stadium. Uh, there's some kind of game going on right now. stay here. This is just back to the boat dock. Okay, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Alright, let's go east. Alright, this is back to where I was in the beginning. So where else can I go from here? I go northwest. I felt a thigh. <laughs> oh boy. A wild party is in progress. Kiss curl, buzz off twerp. A hand gently t that's realistic. Hand gently touches your forearm. The head is kind of the loveliest young woman you ever laid eyes on. Except for Lola, of course. You're by yourself. She leans close and whispers, Please help me. I think that some of these frat boys have been trying to cast spells of intoxication on me. <laughs> to Jeremy. Daddy warned me not to go to any frat parties, but would you escort me outside? This sounds like a scam. I'm just laughing when it says that. Kids, one of those scenes is coming up. Make sure mom and dad are looking over your shoulder before you go any further. Uh, you guys all, like, above the age of 18 watching this stream right now? I hope so. Alright, so, uh, score her outside. I actually, I can't believe I actually understood, understood that. 
Uh, love you, Owen Falls. You clutch at your arm, but you haven't told me your name. My name is Eaglebeak, Ernie Eaglebeak. Hi, I'm Gretchen Snowbunny. Snowbunny? Is it President Snowbunny? Yes, he's my daddy. <laughs> Pats needs to call my mom and check. Someone actually left. Uh, no, someone came, now it's eight. It was, it was seven. It was seven, went to six and eight. Uh, he's my daddy. Don't get scared away by that. All the cute guys always get scared away. The Lord of the school president is my daddy. Gretchen takes a deep breath of warm air and swoons into your arms. I guess they did get me with a few of those intoxication spells. You carried me to my house and I got my key here somewhere. No way, daddy would kill both of us. Just carry me to some place where I can lie down for a while. Oh, jeez. Like, in my room, like, with, with all the, the, the garbage? Alright. Carry Gretchen. Oh, you already have Gretchen. Examine Gretchen. <laughs> Without being too sexist about this, va 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 voob. All right, how do I get to my my room? I guess east. Gretchen opened several of her buttons. Kind of hot in here, wouldn't you say? Uh, you know, this is supposed to be like a. It's funny because I feel like, I feel like when I if I, when I first played this game, which was at least twenty years ago. I mean, it came out in 1990. I probably would have had a different, like, reaction of what I should do than I do right now. Like, right now I'm thinking, like, I should put her to bed, right? I mean, like, put Gretchen in bed. Like, she's, she's out intoxicated. Oh, my gosh. You sweep most of the rubbish onto the floor. She falls sloppy onto the bed, revealing the usual quantity of midriff and thigh. Hey, eager Erica Bean, you're pretty strong, pretty strong. Can I feel your, feel your muscles, nuzzle your muzzle? I think I want, I'm just gonna leave. Like I don't want to. I don't want to like take advantage of somebody who's drunk. Wow, we, we now we lost half the stream. Also, as soon as they saw that. Uh... So what? So what? Okay, so I just left. I think you're. I mean, I think I think the game is expecting you to like make a move on her, but I feel like that's like really not the right thing to do. Uh, is there anything else I could do here? Put cloak on Gretchen. All right, she's going to sleep. All right, good. She went to sleep. Cover Gretchen with garbage. <laughs> Cover Gretchen with blanket. What what do I have here? Where's the key that she has? I want I want to find the key actually. All right, so I got the key. Get key. I, I had to, like, take advantage of her a little bit to find the key, but... You know what? I I need to see what would have happened. Now, I'm like... Well, did they really expect you to do that? I, I, I Just, I gotta know. More you big lug war... What do you guys think? Should I should I try to see what happens if you take advantage of her, or should I just move on? I feel bad. I feel dirty. But I I want to see if I get points or lose points or that's I'm just really curious from a game perspective, honestly. All right. All right. So nothing happens. You don't you don't get any points or anything. You just you just did a bad thing. I'm just I'm just restoring the from the after the, the correct way to do it. I don't, I don't like that. We're only gonna we're only gonna be with women in this game who are like like in in, in command of their faculties and who you know actually like us, not just like random drunk people. That's not a good thing. But I did get the key, right? Yeah, I got the key. All right, so now I can go to where I was before. Unlock door with key. Open door. That was the president's house. Uh, Probably display protected by a strong transparent case of the mysterious ancient powerful sorcerer's appliance, the university's most treasured possession. You see a frimp's mailbox here. Score got up by 15. Graduation in for a tiny cap and gown of prison floats before you. Grab the rank of level 2 sorcerer. Okay. 
but I, I, obviously I'm really tired because who attaches 10 to weight shots. I think the way these spell boxes work is you open the box and then you get the spell in your book. Yeah, so I got this frim spell. Read spell book. Levitation. Well, that's cool. So levitation means that maybe I could go up that ladder. You know, that, there was a ladder in the library where I couldn't climb the ladder. Maybe I could levitate up to the top or something. But I think I need to get out of here. Is there anything else to do in this room? A desk. Examine desk. I just fell asleep in the middle of the in the middle of the president's house. It's not so good. Uh, atomic dragon. I'm dreaming. Atomic dragon is chasing you through a thick marsh. It's gaining on you, and you can feel its scalding breath warming your back. The marsh gets thicker and thicker. You feel, wake up, rest, and refresh with a serious heart on. Because someone has moved you while you slept. And there's a bug. It looks like too. Let me restore. I try to do that without falling asleep. I, didn't, I guess I didn't uh, save for a while. Alright, southwest. Unlock door with key. Open door. Northwest. Open box. Let's go southeast. Let's go east. I fell asleep in the middle of, the, in the middle of this game. I, 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 you, you gotta have like narcolepsy to fall asleep like in the middle. You can't even make it back to your bed. It's only 10:25 p.m. Like you know, seriously, you gotta. If you can't stay up past 10:25 p.m. without passing out like while you're walking, you have a problem. So now it's a different dream with Lola, Lola Tiger Belly. All right, whatever. Oh, I just like left all my stuff on the floor. Get all. I didn't lose anything. I don't think I did. All right, save day two. All right, so day two, it's 8 15 a.m. on Wednesday, right? I have a spellcasting 101 in Melting Wolf Hall at 9 30. Is there anywhere else I haven't been to yet? I don't. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me, do, let me undo that. I want to actually go see if she's still in my bed. No, a scribbled note has been tapped in the door for a read note. Thanks for being so gallant and helping me when I pass out of the court for letting me sleep in your bed. If you're being so gentle but not trying to take advantage of my condition. That's nice. Maybe we'll run to each other at another party. My dad lets me out again, that is. Gretch. In case you had noticed, I bummed a cigarette. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, what do you guys think of this game so far, by the way? So far, it's still, you know, sort of, it's like still sort of the beginning of the game. Another newspaper. Get paper. Read paper. Read news. Some guy died. Read sports. Uh, nothing there, I don't think. Read arts. <laughs> the arts editor was six days. He couldn't write nothing. Sorry, it's probably be better with suits, so don't worry. Read editorials. Administration students should work together. A uh, bunch of decisions to increase the spell lab required of sophomores for 15 hours a week. Blah, 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 blah. What the heck? These incidents will be sw more swiftly and peacefully resolved through the discussion instead of confrontation. Since the energy expended, on second thought, who cares about these dumb protests anyway? The only thing worse than the stupid petty toads who run this school and the spoiled little brats who go here. Best thing would be if you all killed each other. Ha, ha, ha. It like someone took over the, the, the writing or something. I didn't go north from here yet. <coughs> Cafeteria. They can actually eat something. This morning's delightful eye opener. Roast dragon bladders. Get bladder. <laughs> Folding idea. Get food. Being fast and free with the word food there, eh? Alright, let me go to my class. Sit. Spellcasting 101. This is obviously the one subject that truly holds the interest of the students. Maybe they'll actually teach me some spells. Take notes. <coughs> Did everyone get a spell book? Good. Did everyone get one of the BIP spell boxes I had on Monday? Alright, I got one of those. 
Let's all try to cast the Bip spell at this point. Bip. <laughs> that was pathetic as Electron fills the horrible cacophony and screeches, croaks, and one loud, long fart. Yeah, sorry about that. This is the simplest spell of the universe. It's impossible to screw up. Okay. From the top. Don't expect results if you cast Wix, change water to nectar in the middle of the desert. Of course, context is an issue in the case of a so called universal spell like Bip. Concentration. The mark for Master Sorcerer's ability to focus all his attention on the spellcasting process. So blah, blah, blah. Pronunciation is really important. The sobering similarity between Hervon, clean target silverware, and Herbomb, <laughs> swimming a cloud of fleshy locusts. Da, da, da. No magic spell will work unless the caster has utter faith that it will. The slightest of skepticism or lack of confidence in the spell is broken. Think of the cartoon figure as no problem walking out of air until he realizes he's doing it, to which point he plummets to the bottom of the cliff. That's probably important. <coughs> Let's try the bip spell again at this juncture. <laughs> Ouch, screams the prof as a noise like a barnyard fire reverberates through the hall. Understandably, several students have miscast the spell, conjuring up three chickens and a goat. Good illustration of the pitfalls of bad pronunciation. Pick some and some individuals. Mike Meandering Creek. <laughs> Three melodious notes followed by a grating squeak like chalk on a chalkboard. How about Frank Flower That Blooms in Spring? Uh, yeah, the large fire breaks out. Frank, I think you'll sign up some touring to work on that speech impediment. Oh, Ernie Eaglebeak. Oh, my turn. Bip. Very incredible casting, Mr. Eaglebeak. You have a gift for it, I believe. All right, so I'm, I'm a good spellcaster. I'm like Harry Potter, basically. All right, da, da, da. it's good I was actually in class. So they called on me. I want you. To, I've consulted with Professor Cats and Dogs, and he tells me we'll have a major thunderstorm this evening at 11:50. I'll be sleeping then, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, the senior food finds come to the cafeteria at 8:20. I think I, I think by that time that there'll be no more classes. Find a partner and spend at least two hours casting and a partner stops at your toes and shouts some sandies into your ear. Why? Our next session, I'll insert our second spell, Muck. Causes Dota Rise. Sunday, do the junior spelling bee. All right, so that's over. And now, it's another class at one, at General Magic 101. Let me see if I can do that when I was talking about before. Uh, what was the name of that spell? Flit? Uh, what is it called? Read book. Spell. Frimp. Frimp me. Nothing happens. I guess that wasn't the right thing to do. I thought maybe I could like fly up to the stacks there, but I guess not. Alright, let's go back to the cafeteria. Is there anything else here? Did they change? No. Let's go to the cafeteria. It goes so fast, though. Burnt canker sore burgers? Yeah, that's disgusting. Get burger. You can't even eat anything in this game. Oh, this is the registration area. Where I registered before. Nothing here. This is basically just a waste of time. I can't go anywhere else, because by the time I go, I won't get back to class in time. Oh, no, it's a, not till one, wait, not till one o'clock, so I have a little more time. I felt a thigh again. Yo, Ernie, come on back after eight. Super Mondo Mega Bash here tonight. We're sending a coach over to the Balmoral Fishing Academy to pick up a load of beauties. We're going to see some necromancing here tonight. I'm not talking about restoring the... Di <laughs> that's funny. Necromancing and necromancing. That's that's cute. I think that's that's pretty cute. Uh, one second, one second here. Hang on one sec. Sorry about that. All right, so I just have to come back after 8 o'clock. There's another way to go from here. So I've I've done pretty much everything I can do, I think. I can go back to the uh 
I mean, where, where I have to find where the uh, where that guy's. Uh, he invited me to dinner, right? Like, I don't know where, where I'm supposed to go to dinner. Is it, the, is it the president's house? I don't think so. So I gotta find where that dinner is tonight. But uh, aside from that, I think I just have to go to my classes. It's, it starts at one, so I guess I better go there now and just like sort of hang out. Let's look at the trap door. Can I levitate the trap door? Frimp trap door. Try to just quiver a bit. Uh, sometimes it takes several minutes to recharge. Oh, I have an idea. If, let me wait till the class is over. I mean, if I frimp the trap door and then try to lift it while it's while it's levitating, I'm about to go down there. Let me try to do that after the class. Take notes. Oh, this is the canker sore. Blah blah blah. Got a D. The vamoose. Half moose, half gorgeous woman. The vamoose can feed the probably pyramids and roads and berries. Da, da, da. This is like a fast, fantastic beast, so we're to find them, basically. The puffer slugs. Hell hamsters. <laughs> Using hell tweezers. The atomic dragon. Okay. The wig wig. Dim bub spell, which restores receding hairlines and don't stop rendering wig wig sterile. Oh my gosh, this class goes till 3 o'clock. A two headed attorney. Spell of disbarment. Lock pick monster. Bent screwdriver. Come on, this is stupid. Alright, get out of here. Alright, frimp. Let me get up. Frimp trap door. Open trap door. There we go. Save the game. Trap door. Let's go down. Maze room. In a strange location, the walls will appear made of Indian corn. The floor is made of a rubbery substance. Large letter T is inscribed in the wall. Oh, it's a maze. Great. The exits in many directions. I don't know if I have time to do this before my next class, but uh, let me just play around with it. X, Q, K. I probably have to go in some direction, in some way that actually makes these letters make sense, I'm guessing. G. All right, I'll, I'll come back and, and map this. You know what? Maybe I'll do it now. Let me figure out what letters are here. And I can come back and actually do it afterwards. Let me write on something. Not, not on this map. Uh, I guess I'll write on this. So, maze room. So, it starts with T right here in the middle. X. Q. I. U K H G E K X Just let I hear the bell, so I'm, I'm gonna have to redo this, but that's fine. K I S W I already see what's gonna spell, I think. P this is spelled this way or something. A what a space of my Y V J T Okay, almost done here. U O J Yep V the Four is made of a rubbery substance Okay North 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 Z Alright, I'm going to restore the game now Now that I've mapped it out I can see very clearly One of these directions say this way out 
So I'm assuming that's what I have to do. Um, but I'll do it, I guess, after the class because I don't think I could do the whole thing during class. I'm not sure if I can do it after class either because I gotta get to 7:30. But to that, to that, that guy. So let me let me set the set my butt into the class right now. Let me close the door, close trap door, sit, wait, wait, wait. Huh? Oh, it's not here. Oops. This is Physical Skills 101 in Sorcerer Stadium. So let me do that again. I mean, leave it, I'll leave it open. Uh, west. Northwest. Oh, that's I felt the thigh. Back water court. West. Sorcerer Stadium. All right. Uh, let's wait. Oh, I'm excused for doing a slightly strained, sprained pinky. Okay, so I don't even have to be here, so screw this. Let me just go back and do the trap door. Alright. Down, and this time I'll walk through the letters. Uh, southeast, H, South, I, East, S, this, W, Southwest, A, this way, out. The opening slowly forms leading down to the floor. Alright. Down. Secret Society meeting room? The ancient mystical organization Skull and Core meets here in this creepy highway beneath Melting Wolf Hall. You see a Dismar spell box here. Open box. I got nine points for that. Read spell book. Remove magical protection. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Save. Let's call it this bar. Matt, you still there? Who, who's who's actually watching this? What do you guys think of this game? We're still sort of, you know, in the. We're still sort of in the in the opening game here. All right. So let me go. We get out of here. North, north, northeast, north. Oh, open trap door. Oh, was it frimp trap door? Open trap door. Up. All right, so I did that. And now I have to find where this guy is. I must have missed something, as I don't recall there being... Let me save it again. I don't recall there being... Any place to meet this professor, dude? Oh, wait, I can make, go back to his. Hey, what is a simulation chair? Sit in chair. Simulation. Oh, so it's like it's like a, a place that you can actually go on an adventure and simulate what you're doing. Do I have time to do this right now? I'm not sure. Probably don't. He's not here right now. Examine desk. Open drawer. Look picture. <laughs> Look at painting. The paintings are various poses of the professor's young wife, Hillary. He's obviously totally devoted to her based on what you can see for very good reason. <laughs> uh... Where, do I, where does he live, though? Where does this dude live? I don't know where... I gotta find where, where, to, where to go here. Can I go... I, I sort of fell asleep... I didn't really get to do anything here. I don't think there was anything to do, but okay. Where else can I... Where else can I go? Nothing, there's nothing else here. Where else to meet this guy for dinner? The cafeteria? Cactus salad and puffer slug stew. They stopped serving dinner at 7.30. 
Where the hell am I to meet this guy? Maybe it's at his, in his office? I don't think so. I think it's pretty sure it's in his house. There's his house somewhere. Uh, did I miss something? There's no other way to go from here. Oh, can I dispel the magic now? Read spell book. Dispar stare. I know the power. I need to be level three magician before I could do that. I'm only level two magician, so it doesn't work yet. But maybe later I could do that. Where the hell is Professor Ticking Clock? I'll sit here for a while. I don't think this is it, but I'll just, I'm just going to wait to see what happens. No. Where the hell is it? Where is... Hold on. Brick buildings. Like the decor of the north and south. Oh, I didn't go south. Oh, I did go south. Frog kisser. That's, that's here. Frog kisser house. West is the stadium. I'm confused. I remember the guy said join me for dinner at 7.30, right? And I'm pretty sure I remember doing that when I played this game the last time. But I don't remember where it's supposed to go. Brick walks lead northwest and southwest. Northwest is that, that hole. The, I felt the thigh, yeah. I go upstairs here? Oh, uh, okay. Only frat brothers a lot upstairs. Uh, is there a map or something? Anybody have any ideas? I'm, I'm sure that you're supposed to go find a ticking clock somewhere. Uh, what options do I have here? Water. Oh, that's for the fountain. Where is ticking clock? Damn it. Oh, wait a second. I didn't see this before. Tap a keg of brew. There's another another fraternity. So I, I got the I felt a thigh, but there's also tap a keg of brew. <laughs> uh, come around again, 8 o'clock for a party. We can't go upstairs here either. Get keg. You can't take the keg. So I, I missed an exit completely, but did actually doesn't actually go anywhere useful. What about the uh, the boat? That's maybe where I need to go. Is there a boat here? No, oh, just the dock. Drive to the river to the south. Drop all. Get skull. The book is so good you can't put it down. I don't know why the hell I would need that. That's not right. Where is the... All right, I guess I'm going to do the uh, Long Hoi Pond Southwest. I guess I'll do the, um, the simulation lab for now. So I don't know what I'm doing anyway. Sit in chair. A deep moat is bank lines that raise your sharp rocks from a barrier to the south. The ancient leaves with the moat. Read spell book. 
I have some other spells. Vi, healthy plants. Gub, disease plants. And Zeb, increased fighting ability. Vi, tree. Is your tree go fuller and greener? Climb tree. Oh, that's no good. I died. <coughs> the mining professor enters the room. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Green is zero. Hit the book's easel book. Alright, sit in chair. Right, get up. Sit in chair. Do I have anything else? Oh, lead plated sword. Okay. Vi tree. Again. That's all it does? I'll choose the opposite one. Read spell book. G G Gub the tree. Okay. The tree begins to tip and it falls a bridge across the boat. Alright, south. Base of keep. Uh, Stanley the Delhi moat and the towering stands towards the castle keep. It's a narrow window, some clumps of poison ivy. A flu of fire shoots past shoulder, hits the castle wall, even glowing. Oh my gosh. Uh, the lead swords, they said, is good for atomic dragons, but I doubt it's going to work. Kill atomic dragon with lead sword. What happened? The, the cry of distress comes from your blood. So there's somebody who got killed. I, I, that's not, that wasn't the right thing to do. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I got green as 50. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. East. Sit. Gub tree. South. It's Vi... The Ivy. The Dragon War Shire Concentration? Oh, shoot. I might produce... Zeb, I should have done. Increased fighting ability. Zeb, myself. Uh, Alright, let's try this again. Restore. Gotta do it when I, before I get to the dragon. Sit. Okay. Gub the tree. And what was it? Uh, what was that spell? Read spell book. Zeb myself. Okay, south. Kill dragon with sword. There we go. I need to first cast the spell on myself. All right. Now let's let's vie. The, excuse me, the ivy. <coughs> the ivy is growing badly. All right, climb ivy. Or should I climb the ivy, or may I just front myself? No. Oh come on. They don't give you a lot of time to do that. She's been slay, slaughtered by slain by a pendulum. <sighs> I mean, it's eighty. Let's do that again. Sit. Gub right. tree. I keep forgetting what that spell was for making myself stronger. Zeb. Zeb myself. South. Kill dragon with sword. Okay, so little dragon. Vi Ivy. Climb Ivy. Oh, this is the girl from the from the box. Roger, your own bench here, prison of Port Gecko. Legs beside the windows, a fleet trapped where the floor is closed. 
Her gown is totally in a shred. She looks like she's about to fade. Pendulum. Oh, come on! <laughs> I had like I didn't have a chance to do anything. Taking the time to read the name of the spell is what got me. All right, what's what's the stupid spell? Zem. I'll write it down this time. Vi. Gub. Zem. All right, this time I should be able to do it. I just have barely enough time. Matt says kiss her. That's from like two hours ago. <coughs> Here we go. Sit. Okay, Gub Tree. Zem myself. South. Kill dragon with sword. Ah. <laughs> Vi Ivy. Ah. Climb Ivy. All right, pull lever. Whew. Pendulum stops moving. The other shoes at relief. Save. Simulation. Uh, kiss damsel. <laughs> That's totally a proper behavior. It's going to be a report card. Oh, come on. All right. I guess I'm glad I saved the game first. Talk to damsel. <laughs> come on. You don't have a lot of time to do anything here. Open trap door. If you open the trap door, a beast of a man bursts forward with hands like that of a mountain gorilla. He you twists your neck in ways it's never intended to go. What else to do? By the way, it's interesting. He says, wait until I reclaim the simulation spells at the end. There's probably a way to, like, not let him reclaim the simulation spells. I wonder if I'm supposed to do this now or do it some other time in the future, but regardless. Um, she's chained, right? Unchained damsel. I got 100 for that. All right. I didn't get any points, though, or anything. So, I, like I said, I think I'm supposed to do this at some, at some time in the future, but now at least I know what to do. Beat simulation. But I still don't know where I'm, where that where that dude lives. Where does that dude live? You know what? I'm gonna look at the I look at I look at the hints because I just can't I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Where where is where does that dude live? Uh. Where's to go? Uh, don't say anything here. Okay, I did all this already. Southwest? What? Go up twice. Oh, okay. So I'm, uh, damn it. I think I screwed something up, it looks like, because I just have a spell that I don't have. And the only place you can get the spell is... Is by, go, is by going to a party, which there's no party right now. So I may have to, like, it's possible I may have to restore and do it again. Because I didn't realize you can go southwest from here and tap a keg of brew. Hmm. 
cla claims you that you get like a spell box for coming in here. But Oh, I see. No, I just think I I did I missed something before apparently. I have to go back, which really sucks. Back to here. This is really stupid, actually. Search Gretchen. Oh, there's nothing else here? It implied there was something else that she had. I'm a little bit confused here. Oh, okay. So I was supposed to get, apparently, a spell box from somewhere, but I didn't get it. Let me see something. West. North. Southwest. So this guy gives you a spell box, but only if you're at the right tier at the right time to get it, which is super annoying. All right, whatever. So I I, I, I missed this because I, I, I didn't go, I missed this location at the beginning, so I have to do some of this again now, which is a little bit annoying because I think I need that spell box. Open box. I'm gonna fall asleep again, so I'm gonna go to my room and sleep in my room. Let me save this again. New save. So I'm gonna have to do the spell casting class again. But at least I know I do what I do, what I need to do, what I don't need to do. So that's that's I'll be able to do this rest of this really quickly. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Ugh. So stupid. Get all. Okay. West. Southwest. <coughs> Lock door with key. Open door. Northwest. Open box. Okay, now I got frimp. Southeast. Uh. East, northeast. All right, so I have half hour till class. I I just I'll just sit in the class and do it. Did I go? Did I speak to my professor? My my professor? I think I did. Right? Yeah, he's not here right now. All right, so I'll do this quickly here. Save. I'll temp. Sit. Wait. Take notes. Wait. Wait. Hip. Wait. 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 Hip. Wait. 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 Hip. Wait. 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 Okay, so now I'm free till, till 1 o'clock, so now I want to get up, frimp trap door, open trap door, down, and I want to go southeast, south, east, south, oh shit, <laughs> went the wrong way, let's do that again. I forgot to restore. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Damn it. I don't know if I have 
time to do this. All right, southeast, south, east, east, southwest, west, south, west. Oh, the class starts at one o'clock. Damn it! Or right, I'll do it. I'll do it really quickly here. I just, I've screwed that up before. Sit, wait, take notes. Wait, wait. I'll see what I get after this. Dip. Dip. Come on. Dip. Save. Save temp. All right. Get up. Frimp trap door. Open trap door. Down. Let's do this right this time. Southeast. South. East. East. Southwest. West. South. West. West. Down. Open box. Up. I'm going to miss the beginning of the class, but who cares? North. 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 Northeast. Oh, closed chapter. What happened? I lost the window. Frimp. Can I go out during the class? Trap door. Open trap door. Oh, there's chairs on it. <laughs> I can't actually go out during the class, which is annoying. So I may have to wait for the whole freaking class to be over and then do it. Oh, jeez. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Restore. Annoying. What do I have now? Read spell book. Scott, increased bust size. That's a good spell. Increased bust size. No wonder they said like it's it's a spell they gave out at the uh, you know at the, at the fraternity. I didn't mean to do that. I want to go up. I'm just restoring because it wastes too much time when you make a mistake. There's a bust here. It's, it's not mentioned in the description, but it's in the picture. It's a statuette. What was the name of that spell? Skull Statue. <coughs> so the bust looks very climbable. Climb bust. Uh, there's a Kabul spell box here. Open box. So what's the Kabul spell box, spell book? Restore lost souls. That's interesting. Okay, let's go back down to class. Let's sit in class. Okay. Wait a second. I still didn't figure out where I'm supposed to go to meet that dude for dinner. I thought it's, it was on top of the library or something. Uh... Go, oh, it's in the, in the library, I guess. What? Southwest? I can go up from here, too. Ah, okay. So this is... I didn't realize... This is this is where it is. I didn't realize I could go up from here. That's annoying. <sighs> the top of the stair, the door of the house matters, is open by press your ticking clock by Hillary. She's young enough to be your sister, but you're glad to react when you look at your sister. You met Hillary briefly on several occasions, but none of these occasions were in a sheer nightgown. She looks one mostly bare leg around the door, whispers, you must be looking for Professor Ticking Clock. You might find him in his office. See you around. All right, so you have to come back here after you after you go meet this guy for dinner, I guess. But that's where they are. All right, so Melting Wolf Hall. Let's sit. Let's save. Temp 2. Wait. All right. Take notes. Wait. 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 
Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Come on, wait, 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 wait. All right, there we go. Now, let's we can do this this maze thing. Attempt to get up. Frimp trap door. Open trap door. Down. Okay, southeast. South, east, east, southwest, west, south, west, west. Down. Open box. Okay. And now we go up. North, 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 northeast. Frimp trap door. Open trap door. Up. All right. Now I think I'm finally ready to actually go to that dude's house. Which I want to do before. I didn't need that that bus thing. I, I I thought from the walkthrough I thought that I needed it, but I realize I don't now. As which I so I shouldn't have looked at the walkthrough. I just like punished myself by doing that. But I was stuck and I couldn't find where to go. So unfortunately, that's what I did. All right. So frog kiss your house. So from here, I should have read it carefully. Your room lies off the east, and a stair ascends towards the house master's suite. I was I was like sort of looking at the at the uh, at the compass rose, and I was using that as a crutch, and I didn't realize there's an up here that you can go up, so... Alright, let's just wait. This guy's playing Dungeons and Dragons. Wait until 7.15. Up. Alright, so now she's not her Nike guy anymore. Ah, Bernie, Ernie, come in. Always glad my... You're a bit early, that's fine, that's fine. Always glad my advice can join us for dinner. Wife is cooking... So Ernie, you enjoy your studies? Everything pleasant with you? A pleasant pheasant, that's it. Pheasant and potatoes. As of on cue, Hillary enters the platter of bird parts and roasted spuds. <coughs> More delectable the food is Hillary herself in her tight, low cut blouse and a skirt that very short as he called a, a belt. See so you drooling there, my boy. Can't I, see, I blame you. Pheasant is one of my favorites, too. Eat pheasant. You swallow a piggish portion. Best food you've had since you got to SU. Sit down, my boy, sit down. Chow down. A single bony wing and spoop of potatoes in the presser's plate. The trencher is bending low, asked, husky tone. Can I serve you? Uh, say yes. <laughs> uh, examine Hillary. Professor Ticking Clock was probably ready the first day of his civility when his wife was bored. <laughs> now he's one foot and four other toes in the grave, and Hillary's in her prime. Oh, gosh. Say, Ermine, now, Ernie, have you heard the news from Barfton? It's his old wriggly worm died last week. He's one of the last three men to understand the secrets of the sorcerer's appliance. Now that he's gone, I'm peeler of small things over the ancient history of part of myself. The only ones who, uh, the only ones, that is, uh, what was I saying? Am I sitting down? I guess not. Uh, have some more wine, my dear. Uh, eat food. Potatoes. Yum, yum, yum. <coughs> Hillary catches your eye and slowly licks a large glob of mashed potatoes off her upper lip. Oh, so ticking clock fell asleep. Hillary lifts his head for a moment and certains he's truly asleep, lets him fall back in the potatoes. How impressive. He lasts over ten minutes tonight. He must have had a quiet day. She tosses the serving plier aside and leans back, exposing her shapely legs. And what shall we do now? Hmm? I guess, I guess if I was, like, a really good guy, like, you know, just like I didn't, like, take advantage of a girl who's drunk, like, I wouldn't want to be with, like, a married man's wife, you know, a married woman, but, like, clearly she's coming on to you, and you're, you're like, a college student. I don't know how you're supposed to, like, uh... All right, examine Hillary. I should have said that. Touch Hillary. <laughs> Not the pheasant breast, you fool. Kiss Hillary. Is kissing all you know how to do, sorcerer boy? Kiss Hillary sticks an arm through the folds of your cloak, enjoying random patterns of the chest of your fingers. This cloak must be so very, very hot. <laughs> Remove cloak. 
Uh, address Hillary. <laughs> Let's go for it here. A pair of mad rabbits. Passion. She streaks, topples the end table, tears out several window treatments, and breaks six pieces of expensive crockery. She gets really excited. Describing a strand of shrieks and moans that must surely have been noticed even by the most oblivious Eminem like D&D players. Presser stores blindly on. Other rolls aside, not bad source of boy. I've dropped again sometime. The old blue plays bridge every Thursday and triple Fuji every Sunday. Wait, my monsieur comes on Thursdays. I'm occupied on Sundays as well, but keep in touch. You don't get any points for that or anything. It's just like, you know, make the game more risky, basically. And again, that's naughty mode, so it's, you know, it's R-rated. It's not like anything beyond that. All right, it's been an hour and a half, um, and we're, 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 I feel like we're losing steam here. Some people, like, the, this chat has been very unlively tonight, unfortunately, for a Sunday evening. That's very disappointing. Maybe a text adventure just uh, is not everyone's speed, but, uh, and I'm still trying to figure who that guy looks like, but, um, there's a lot of atmosphere in this game if you actually read every single piece of text. Like, here's this D&D game that's going on. Her brain is splattered over the side of an expensive, important sports car. Uh, let's see. New. I think maybe I'll, I'll call it an evening. It's been an hour and a half. It's, it's starting to get late. I... This game sort of dealing didn't get going yet because we're still in the spell cast, in, actually in Sorcerer University, and you saw before, there's this whole big map of other places you get to go. And so far, the only puzzle solving really has been um, the, I guess, that simulation room and the maze. Aside from that, and I guess I guess the, the bus thing that I made grow, but there hasn't been that much actual puzzle solving so far. But it's, it's, it's atmospheric. It's like sort of fun. It's trying to get you into the atmosphere of the game. And then it does get better, in my opinion, um, as it goes along. At least that's my recollection. So... Um, I think I think we'll stop for now, and uh, I'm gonna try to continue this uh, a little later in the week, and uh, pick it up. But you know, let me know what you think in the comments. If you're actually I, the chat's been pretty quiet today, so let me know in the comments section what you think of this game. If you're interested in, in continuing, or if it looks good or it looks bad, and uh, you know, if you're not already subscribed, please do so so you can see the next part. If you're interested in seeing it. And we'll do this again soon. In the meantime, have a great evening, everybody, or a great day, whatever it is that you're watching this. And uh, have fun playing some other games. <laughs> See you guys soon, and uh, peace out. Bye-bye.